What's up guys? So I'm back. We're, uh, we're working on the L83 Nova project and what I'm going to cover today is we got the new Holly LT oil pan, the swap oil pan. So I'm going to kind of go over that. We'll check it out, see what it has to offer, see if uh, I think it should work pretty good. It seems like it'll fit just about any like muscle car kind of platform. It looks very similar to like an F body LS oil pan. So get right in here. I've actually already had it open, so I kind of rearrange some stuff here. But so they give you like this bag of goodies. Comes with uh, yeah, just like all the gaskets, the oil oil bypass block, your little O rings for the oil pump and all that. Filter adapter, drain plug, all the goodies. So, um, so look at the paint on here. I've actually each one of these came like the windage tray, all that. It came like packaged separately, but I've already had it open, so I just kind of stuck it all in together. Put this thing on the bag here. So oh, there it is. So like I said before with the LT stuff, the windage tray will actually bolt, actually bolts directly into the oil pan. So Holly's kept it that way, obviously. So they have all these bosses. And then you can see here the pickup tube is like casted into the pan. So the pickup tube goes in there, it's like a cast tunnel that it goes through, pops out there, and then they have like a steel steel pickup tube that basically just finishes its way down to the bottom. You can kind of see in it there. And it all bolts in place, has its own little gasket, which they supplied, all that good stuff. So the other thing that I got, uh, Holly has two of these pans, or two part numbers for this pan. They have a 302-2, and that's the standard one. And then they have a 302-22, which is like their drag race pan. And what that basically includes is this baffle door setup. So I figured since I'm into drag racing, it's at least worth checking out. So I sprung for that. It's only like, it's like $20 extra or something to do the drag race version, which includes this little door here so pretty much it's just got these little little flaps that help control your oil on launching and then that kind of surrounds where the pickup tube goes down in the pan so you can see the pickup tube kind of I think you get it in there kind of next to its way The pickup tube kind of nests its way down in there, so that keeps the oil around the tube on like a hard launch or something, so keeps it all from uh, sloshing and all that, so so that's good. So that's uh that's pretty much the complete unit there. Like the so these holes here, it's pretty much I think just like an LS fan. Uh, it's got the crossover, so you can tap in there. Uh, in that little crossover plate that they supplied here. I'm, I'm just going to drill and tap that like if you wanted to add a turbo or anything like that. And it does actually have, it has a bung right here. It's like half inch pipe thread. So that will actually allow you to run a turbo drain as well. And they put that on the passenger side, which is kind of the most common, uh, most common for turbos to be on the passenger side. So since all U.S. cars have the steering on the left, or on the driver's side, so. Anyways, that's, uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, I guess probably what I'll do now, I'll set you guys up on a time lapse, so follow along. <laughs>
into a little bit of a problem. So I was uh, almost done assembling the pan and I was going to put the drain plug and the turbo drain plug in. And then I noticed the pan has a crack. It's like right at the pan rail, you can see it starts there and goes like all the way past this bolt hole. It's a little difficult to see on the camera. You can see it right there, right in that corner. So I pulled the windage tray back out and thinking, you know, maybe it doesn't go all the way through. Well, that's actually the crack right there. You can see it going all the way across. So it's a pretty significant crack. So that's obviously not going to work. So I have not even tried to bolt the pan up or anything. So it either got damaged in shipping or it's like a casting issue that Holly's having. So I guess uh, we'll talk to Holly. Talk to Holly tomorrow. See what they have to say. Which the pan, I got the, like the last one in stock. So. Hopefully they have another one they can send me or something. So I guess I'll let you guys know what happens. It's been, uh, I'd say roughly a week since we first tried to test fit the oil pan on the L83. And that was when we found the other oil pan was actually cracked. So uh, I ordered it from Summit and they sent me out a new pan right away. So got the new pan it's all good to go I just went ahead and skipped me putting it all together because you guys don't care to see that again and I figured before we put it together I'll give you guys a little look underneath the oil pan like down here inside of the engine so there's like a few things that I've noticed these rods look almost identical to a gen 4 rod i'd say they're very very close in size um so that's obviously good uh, another weird thing which i think i'm starting to love is that the lt motors they don't they don't use a gasket so your standard oil pan gasket like your ls had lts do not have that they just use they use O-rings, I'll show you on the new oil pan here. So they use these O-rings, one there and there, and then the pickup tube is made into the pan. So it's casted in here, and then a separate piece bolts on there and goes down into the center, so. But through the casted section, then you get this, it's kind of a weird shape to like, it's like flat on the top, but then it also fits down in the groove, so that guy there and then it has dowel pins to make sure everything's lined up there's two dowel pins just on this one side and then that pretty much lines all these gasket holes up and then you just bolt this thing on so with some uh, gray RTV in there so that's pretty cool uh, one other interesting thing is this engine actually has piston squirters. So I'm trying to get the light position, but you can see that guy right down there. That's a piston squirter, so it'll shoot oil at the bottom of the piston to help cool it. And something that they, I believe I read somewhere, the piston squirters actually have some sort of like a pressure, uh, like check valve or something in them. So they don't actually operate all the time. They only operate <clears throat> once the oil pressure hits a certain pressure. And I think on the 5.3 version, they said that was like 20, 20, 28 or 30 PSI or something, oil pressure, and then the squirters will start activating. Uh, and like the Z06, I think they said it was like 48 PSI they start activating or something like that. So yeah, anyway, so it has piston squirters. You see there's your standard 58x crank wheel and then one other funny thing that these LT engines have is they have this um, oil pressure control valve I guess we'll call it uh, basically what that does 
is it sends the oil through a port into the pump and it will phase your pump so you're reducing your displacement it's kind of like a variable displacement oil pump so the factory actually uses that this valve which is controlled by the factory ecu it will it's like a pwm signal and essentially with this if this valve were to be 100 percent on what it would do is put it into a, like a low oil pressure mode or like a low oil displacement so it will reduce the displacement of the pump as far as whatever its variation is there but in this situation uh, i noticed in the holly the new holly direct injected ecu they have an output uh, just for the oil pump the high low pressure mode the factory pwms it i believe and the holly system their setup literally just grounds it at it's a ground trigger to the solenoid and then they just turn it on and off at like 2000 rpm so holly kind of made it simplified for their needs um and really that should be fine so i may end up hooking up an output like that or if you don't hook anything to it it just puts it in the standard pressure mode all the time so it's not really a big deal um it'll just be wasting more energy i guess than it needs to more pumping losses um, but obviously no big deal the the other interesting thing is the block has these little bumps so there are some like little nooks back in here underneath the main caps but only certain ones so there's all three of these have it and then just two on the other side so Mitch was speculating that maybe f to help control windage or something down in the down in the crankcase. So uh, another part that we just got in, just got in. Uh, my buddy Billy brought me these uh, plugs. So uh, basically, these are the vacuum pump plugs, and I think this part number they must come off of like a z06 or something that maybe didn't have the vacuum pump on it which I'm just speculating on that but it would make sense like it's a very unique plug so it is let's see if the camera will focus here uh it's basically just like a straight metric thread i think and then it has right up underneath the head here it's actually beveled so um as you can see here so it helps seal on the bevel this is where the vacuum pump used to go so there's one plug that goes in there and then there's another plug that goes in here so literally just thread that guy in there and then stick an allen wrench in there tighten her down and that's all there is to the vacuum pump delete i think these plugs were like 10 bucks or something like that so really not bad at all they came right from the dealership so I guess we'll, I'll set you up on a stand and we'll put this oil pan on. Found the instructions, tells you how to silicone the oil pan or the, the block and how big of a bead delay like in the corners and all that. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna uh, round up the bolts and we're gonna bolt the sucker on. flipped back over here so it does have the turbo drain right there 
Uh, it's got like a factory like gasket style fill plug, so that's pretty decent. It does have the holes if you want to put your covers back on, like your clutch hole covers, all that. And it has the dipstick. Goes in right up in here, you can see. So I'm going to see if my factory one will fit from the truck, hopefully. Yeah, they have a decent, oh damn it, that's what I was going to do. What? I was going to drill and tap this for turbo stuff down the road. Probably put a couple holes in that, which I already bolted it on, so I'll take that back off. And so it says gasket tab goes up. So, the only other question is, do we paint it black? <laughs> Probably not at this point. It's fresh and shiny. Might just leave it that way. Alright. That is it for Holly Oil Pan install.